Morning y'all. Who wants to come with me to the Masters? Come on. So today's video is a travel day. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you can get to Augusta to go to the Masters. Talk a little bit about some of the ideas around what this event is like to go to, some of the funny, quirky rules. And I'm gonna share with you some of my top tips of what you should think about if you get a chance to go and what it's like to go there and how to make the most out of this first major. An amazing trip. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the Masters, shall we, Matt? Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> So I tell you my first top tip, I've done this before, but people who are going to the Masters, like these two people here, yeah, us. Hello. pay the extra for parking. If Park you close, yeah. if you, you can indeed. Bags, generally, if when you are carrying time. around them, because today will be, oh, yeah, well think about it, we've gone drive, yep. now train, yep. so we've got to get to a different terminal, then it'll be plane, then it'll be a bus to the car rental, then car drive. Coming home, similar makeup. If you then get here all night on a plane, you've then got to get on a bus with that, fighting with that lot. Yeah. Not fun. Just, I know it's a lot of money, and if you can stretch to it, it's, it's worth, worth it. It's worth it, yeah, it is worth it. Oh my word. <laughs> You're not coming too, are you, Ray? Where's Dan though? I was going to say, where is Dan? He's late. Or... Is, is he not coming? I sent him an email the other day. <laughs> you found Dan yet, Matt? Oh, I'm going. Is he not? <laughs> We have landed, gentlemen. Welcome to Charlotte, Matthew. Oh, thank you. We've done more than land. We've got through everything. We're out of here. We have got through there quick. And I'm not... Has anyone seen Dan yet? Dan? Dan? Still in the sweet shop, isn't he? Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so we've landed in Charlotte, obviously, which is probably how far from Augusta? I didn't look, because we're now going to Columbia. I guess it's a similar distance, so about an hour or so. So it's interesting that we stay an hour away from Augusta, and obviously when yeah. I looked at the prices, it just gets more expensive when you start staying at Augusta. And yeah. you, then you brought up a couple of other good points about obviously it's not just about, like some, most people are coming, well not, lots of people are coming to play golf themselves. Yep. Some come with like partners or family members. It's, it's one of those unique events where you, you know, like I would never take my wife to the open, but I would bring her here. Yep. Because the open's a bit more of a trek, where this is like more Wimbledon-esque. Uh -huh. Do you not think? Yep, completely. And obviously, Augusta as a town maybe doesn't offer what Columbia or Athens, which is the other place we stayed last yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, the Masters is just like the heartbeat of that place, isn't it? It's, it's the reason... Anyone would choose to go there. Exactly, almost, yeah. Isn't Whereas, it? so if you're... If you've got, let's say, a seven day holiday, we're just making this up, and you've got two or three of those days where you're not going into the golf, and you maybe want to go and see something else, Augusta may not be the one place where you want to base yourself, so that's why we set people up in Columbia, Athens, where we were last year, which was such a fun town, wasn't it? Oh yeah, because I'm quite looking forward to seeing um, Columbia, just as a different place. I love coming on these trips and actually seeing a different place. I don't know what it's going to offer. Yeah, I, like I said, I loved Athens and that was really good fun, but I'm quite looking forward to seeing how different Colombia might be. Yeah. If it is at all, it might, offer, it might offer the same kind of party atmosphere. And Oh, and then you'll yeah, be well happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, drop that in. Great partying. <laughs> Working. <laughs> so the first point I want to make, Ray, yeah. Well, I still think it's misunderstood that people don't realise that they can actually just come to the Masters nowadays. Yep. I was on your website looking at kind of the package almost we're doing. Uh huh. And without golf, it was like hundred and uh, it was one thousand six hundred quid. And then when I priced up the flights, just I just went on my Virgin app that's on my phone. Mm -hmm. They well they came to one thousand three hundred, so it was like. Yeah, what are you paying for? Well, it wasn't a it wasn't a cheap holiday by any means, but no holiday is cheap if you want to think about it that way, isn't it? As yeah. in, if I've only got ten pound in my pocket, the twenty nine ninety nine holiday is expensive, meters, isn't it? Be in the right lane, then keep right to Billy Gray and Parkway South. Thanks, Charlotte. 
and then when you start putting golf on it like we've done I mean I, that, I just think lots of people still realize that they or don't think they can just come yep 100% I still speak to people on a regular basis at my golf club who are like they asked me, oh, how was it? And then I'm like, well, do you want to go next year? Like, can Keep I? Right yeah. To how do you not know that? I've just come back south. from it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Because I remember the days where it was, I don't know if you do, Matt, as well, where it was like very close shot kind of stuff. Yeah, I used to just think, never going to get there yeah. when I was younger. Yeah, now look at you. Twice. Better. Shorts on. Twice. Just get rocking it in ch out of Charlotte. Two years in a row. Off to Augusta. To like meet, a regular. To meet Tiger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello Tiger! <laughs> Tell Dick! <laughs> so I've made it to the hotel, long day travelling. See you in the morning and we'll go to the gates. The morning out, shall we? So we've arrived and look, this bit of a your golf travel pluggy bit, but look. This is hospitality. Um, we have Augusta National, it's about a 10, 15 minute walk that way. And the beauty of having this here is you've got, you get off the road, because the parking gets a bit mental um, and it's like very busy and we get off earlier and get to park in our own little spot. The other thing that can happen here, as you probably know when you watch on telly, is like the heavens can open sometimes, storms come across if it's one of those rainy days and you have to kind of get off the course if the klaxon goes, those kind of things. This is a great place to come and hang out. Free food, free drink, and you got covered seating, and you can watch the Masters. We're gonna pick our tickets up, and then we're heading over. Right, we're walking to the gate. As you can see, I've got my Masters chair. Matt's got his, Rory hasn't, but he's getting one straight away. It is a yep. top tip if you come, isn't it? 100%. Because like... what do we do with it? We've said it before in other videos. Just guarantees you a front row seat somewhere. You park it somewhere. Yeah. So we're maybe aiming for like, let's say back of 16 T, we're here early, get yeah. down there, secure a spot, and then you're free to- Wander around. Walk around at your leisure, always knowing that- Leave you your bag get... there. And like today, it's great because we've got Mickelson and Woods potentially playing together. Those crowds are going to be mental. Yeah. If you want a front row seat to see that group, get on that tee early. You have, have a chair, don't you? And we were amazed that first year we went. Yep. Like I said, the lady just left her handbag sat next to us and yeah. it went off. And I was like, her handbag is, but it's, it's, it's totally it's respected, safe. isn't yeah. it? The rule. Um, and you can sit in someone else's chair. Huh. So if you get to a place, no one's sat in a chair, you can sit in it and if they just come along and say, look, that's my chair, you just they politely hate. get up and there's no, no one minds. It's like we share, it's, the it's my spot, but when I'm not using it, you can use my part of Augusta Spread today. Spread my master's love. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're just approaching the gate, so you can't come in, I'm afraid. So I'll see you later. <laughs> what a day, Matthew. That was pretty warm in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty hot, but what a day. Who have you gone and seen? Oh, Who have you gone and seen? I, I don't want to talk about it. You were close, didn't you? I literally could nearly touch him, I was that close. And how was he playing? Okay, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> so, first hole we watched, 13, par 5, dog leg left driver down the left hand side iron into the green hold at eagle and you think ah oh, classic tiger he's goalie gone and yeah, made it right eagle. in front of me first hole i've seen him at the masters he, he's eagle. done an eagle he only gone and eagled it next hole i watched him on 15 yeah driver iron just short hold it eagle what but what 14 did he have a double or a quad on 14 or didn't, something didn't did care didn't look <laughs> didn't watch it one there <laughs> Third hole, foot 16 par three, struck it in, tapped it in, birdie. Five under three holes, thanks very much. Looking good, wasn't he? Hot. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of buzz around Rory. Yeah, yeah, that was busy and it was late on as well, wasn't it? There lots of people staying to watch Rory. Good Justin to, Rose as well. Just good to see Poulter as well. Yeah, he was there last off, wasn't he? Today? Yeah, yeah. Like practicing because he's had that busy week and winning and everything. So, yeah. That new shop? What do you think in a new shop? Impressive. Any decent different swag or pretty much similar to what nah, you normally similar, get? Similar, slightly different in the um, look of it, but nice air con. Ray had pins out today. Yeah. Well, how did you find that today, Ray? Warm? Very warm, yeah. Long day? 
Yeah. So How often it. did you reapply the sun cream? That's one I of my was, top tips if you come. It's I was, so hot. Well, three applications total. Three, yeah, I was four, I think. And I bought a hat very quickly this year, whereas last year we all know what happened up here when I didn't have a hat on. Yeah, you got a little burnt. A little bit of blisters. Favourite yeah. highlight for you today? Probably Tiger again, Same wasn't it? Matt, yeah. Yeah, so let's not e go on eagle, about that eagle. again. Um, yeah, I didn't see that. Though. Eagle, eagle, birdie. I saw two eagles, not that. Um, being, eventually being able to get my swag, that was nice. That was like a relief. Yeah, because you had a little bit of a card embarrassment. Yeah, Santander that tried to screw me over, but... Uh, I let's got move on. I got a text off them apologising. What was your best bit of swag for you? Uh, the flag's always a standard one, just to track the years we've been, but... Yeah. Um, probably my bag tag again, I always just spit partial to my bag tags. I've you got like a, nice a good bag tag, yeah, don't you? Yeah, nice collection going, so three years here, so bag tag for each one. And I think we have a winner in our mitts in the cup challenge that we play every year. I was eight. I was eight cups. You were eight as well. Yeah. Ray, and they weren't all beer. How many were one, beer? One beer. That's impressive for Ray, isn't it? I mean, that shows you how warm it is. Well, there's another little tip. It's like, you can't drink three or four. Well, I could drink three or four beers in that heat and not feel... <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't do what? I couldn't drink three or four or five beers in that heat and not feel <laughs> like I was going to pass out. That is a bombshell. I saw some fellas in there with like 10 green cups. Yeah. And you, got, you can only get beer in those, so they're strong lads. <laughs> so to finish on then, one of the reoccurring comments I get when we come, because we only come on practice days, and the reason yep. I come on practice days is because of this thing, the camera. Yep. Game days, you can't take any cameras in. And when we were getting close to people like Rory and um, Tiger, I do find it a little too busy for me. Claustrophobic. Where game days, I imagine it must be quite crazy. Which is why I think practice days for me, like experiencing a game day, I think, as a paying customer who's not particularly cared about taking pictures, I get that, but you will have to fight for your spot more. Yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys, because I'll be maybe popping in on Friday to Sunday and see what it's like. Keep us updated, Ray. Yeah. Well played on the uh, Cups game, bro. I'll be weird all evening. That was impressive. <laughs> Time to go back to Colombia. Yeah, correct. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> day. That's insane, isn't it? That's Tiger Woods at the Bloody Masters. Yeah. Here you got my face, baby. There you go. We are playing golf tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I am playing some sort of golf. <laughs> I am playing golf with these two jokers. <laughs> In Augusta. Woo! See you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.